when you're looking at this particular painting behind us, untitled from 1982, you see kind of his quintessential sense of energy that's captured in, um, in his style of painting. And I think you can see that the layers, the way in which he draws, writes on the canvas, uh, erases, covers up. And of course, we have this uh, kind of dominating the canvas, this large uh, head, seemingly with the mouth open, breathing, talking, singing, screaming, we can't be sure. And at the same time, though, as lively, as engaged, as expression, you know, expressionistic almost, this, um, this head is before us, it also morphs right in front of our eyes into a skull. So you have um, kind of layers uh, of meaning in that one single image. It's funny, I'm always blocking out exactly for how much it sold. Let's just say it sold for a, a large sum of money. But for me as a curator, um, you know, there is a, there's an artistic and cultural value that is much more important to me than, you know, the, um, you know, the recent sales results um, of a painting. So I prefer to focus less on that than the great merit of the art world, uh, artwork itself. You see it in reproduction. It just has such a haptic quality. The, the way in which it's painted and the scale of it, it's something you have to see in person. It's just um, as, as beautiful and as sophisticated as our digital technologies are becoming, it's never um, the same as seeing it in person. And uh, that goes for me. And yeah, I look at a, a lot of images online and in real life. Uh, so it was fantastic to see it here.